Okay, giving everybody here a chance to catch up with us, just to be on the safe side. If you are just tuning in, trying something a little bit new and interesting for tonight, and that is a little bit of a glimpse into what's going on with a little bit more in the way of social media than what we usually do around here. If you are just joining us, giving everybody a chance on Facebook to catch up here for just a second, we are live this evening on Periscope, Twitter, and now on Facebook. If this works, this may be a trend. We'll have to see how this works on here for just a little bit. If everybody's caught up with us and the signal is not degrading and you can actually hear me, there's an idea. Thanks for joining us for tonight. It is just past 9.30, a little bit later than usual. We'll explain why on that coming up here in just a little bit. Our brand new and improved weather overtime video weather blog doing it on Facebook for tonight. And thanks to everybody for joining us this evening. And again, a pleasant evening with a few thunderstorms out there, a little bit less in the way of humidity, maybe a few thousand percent less would be kind of a nice thing to have going on for us. But other than that, not really too much going on for tonight. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, right down here in the bottom portion of your screen. Finally got the email address working properly at austin.onic at wreg.com. Forecast, if you want to see what's going on tonight and tomorrow, more details available here. Social media available here here and over that way on the screen. So you've got a pretty good idea as to what's going on out there. Crystal Smith Walton, good evening from South Haven. Tina Connetzer, hope I'm saying that right, from Henning, Tennessee. Thanks for joining us. We'll take a look at your forecast coming up here in just a little bit. And also take a look at what we can take a look at into the tropics coming up here in just a little while. Currently not seeing a lot going on in the portions of the Mid-South area. The metro is again showing little if any concern and that is just plain moisture hanging around the area for tonight. There's really little if anything in the way of showers or thunderstorms left over the metro area right in the middle portion of your screen and really just not that much going on at this point so not that much again to show you. If you are just joining us on uh, Periscope and Twitter uh, again, a little bit difficult to see. We're kind of broadcasting live using the OBS software here, but at least you can see a little bit more about what's going on. And we'll gesture to everything, give you an idea as to what's going on out across the Mid-South as we go throughout the course of the rest of the afternoon and into this evening. What we have in the way of showers is basically back well outside of the News Channel 3 viewing area. We've got some activity back around areas south of Lexington and back around areas close to east of Jackson, between Jackson and the Tennessee River. A little bit of some thunderstorm activity showing up there. We do not have any indications that this is anything in the way of severe weather, so good news on that. If you have any questions about the forecast, drop them into the comments section. If you have any weather reports from your area, we'd love to hear more about what's going on in your neck of the woods, so please drop that in there as well. Temperatures, yeah, I know it's hot, but maybe a little bit more specific on the numbers. If you have that thermometer outside the kitchen window, please go ahead and put that to good use. We'd love to see more about that out there. Let's go ahead and switch on over to see what's going on into the area where it comes to the forecast. The watchword, once again, will be plain, downright, simple, hot. It's going to be steamy out there. It's going to continue to be steamy throughout the course of the rest of the next several days. And as of right now, that's what the National Weather Service is saying for the main problems out across much of the Mid-South there is. We are looking again for some pretty steamy conditions out there with heat wave possibilities again as we go into the next couple of days. Now the main thing we're going to be looking for for right now is going to be heat and humidity. As we go into the next couple of days toward the weekend, this could be of interest, especially as we go into Thursday night and Friday. Could be the potential of some stronger thunderstorms out there, and this is something you're going to have to pay attention to. It's still summertime, so there's still a lot of people out and about doing stuff in the great outdoors, which is pretty typical, again, for this time of the year. So if you have any plans for outdoors, that's great. Keep them, but definitely want to make certain that you are able to get back indoors again on Thursday and Friday evening. We'll be watching for that potential of strong to severe weather coming up over the next few days, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more on that. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what's going on with the forecast out there. What we do have is, again, this next cold front heading our way, and while it doesn't look like much right now, this is probably going to be the best opportunity we've had for rain and thunderstorms since we've seen it over the last several days. Let me put that back into motion so you can see more about what's going on. The storm system approaching from the northwest is going to, again, be heading our way Thursday into possibly Friday. Now, there's some doubt as to whether or not this thing's going to come blasting its way on through, but we could see, again, some thunderstorms out of this as we get from Thursday night into Friday. 
And as the system comes through, it looks like it's getting a little bit weaker toward the end of the loop here, which is possible, but we still need to be on guard for the potential of stronger weather as we get into Friday toward the end of the weekend. So this is going to be something you're going to have to watch out for as we go into the course of the next couple of days. Now for the next couple of days, as we get into around temperature readings out there, temperatures will be not much in the way of good news. Temperatures will be again back into around the lower to mid 70s for low temperatures and the metro area may not get much below anything in the mid to upper 70s at best. Take a look and see what's going on again into tomorrow. High temperatures tomorrow, not that great. Again, numbers going back into around the mid to upper 90s at best. And that is just the air temperatures out there. Get into around the area of the heat index. And we are going to be seeing again some very warm numbers coming our way with temperatures throughout the rest of the forecast, excuse me for just a second here while I get this up and going. Let me just bring this up full screen so you can see a little bit better as to what's going on. What we're looking at is again the possibility of some heat index temperatures above 105 degrees again tomorrow. So that's why the National Weather Service has once again issued a heat advisory for the area. That'll be going on again into around tomorrow evening at about News Channel 3 at 6. It'll still be in effect and it'll still have the potential of again some very hot weather. Metro area, northwest Mississippi, back into all of eastern Arkansas, and a better portion of West Tennessee than we've seen for a while. So this is going to cover basically the northwestern two-thirds of the News Channel 3 viewing area, and that's going to be mainly about all that we see out there in the near future. That's going to be heat and humidity out there and plenty of that. Now tomorrow, kind of interesting effect going on atmosphere is not really primed for anything involving severe weather. So down here at the lower portion of your screen, what you're looking at in those bars right there should be rain potential and showers and thunderstorms, and we're not seeing anything. So I would think that there's going to be, again, an isolated possibility of a thunderstorm taking place. That's going to be about it. We're not seeing anything there. But as we go into the next portion of the week, toward the end of the week, that's where we start seeing some showers and thunderstorms starting to fire up as we head toward Thursday afternoon and evening. Now we'll go a little bit farther into the forecast as that cold front approaches us and gives us again that possibility of some more activity heading our way. This is where it's going to get a little bit more interesting out there, especially as we get into Friday. Now a couple of the fronts, a couple of the models monitoring this front have shown that we're going to be seeing again the ramp up in activity going on throughout Friday. So better chances, increasing chances of showers and thunderstorms Friday morning early around rush hour and right on in through the rest of the day, right on into the evening hours. Now could that mean severe weather? It's possible. We have to watch out for that, so keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you updated on that. Sherry Fuller, yay rain, boo hot. That pretty well sums it up right there. Very nicely done, very succinct. I like that. Edith Billings Man, good evening to you. Thanks for tuning in for this evening. Let's go ahead and hop on over to the National Hurricane Center and show you what's happening, which, again, does not amount to much at this time. We have, again, quiet conditions in the Atlantic. The Pacific has a lot of stuff going on, including hurricanes and a couple of tropical storms and depressions and stuff like that going on. Nothing like that happening in the Atlantic, so things are very much on the quiet side at this time, so very good news on that. Other than that, again, things are decently quiet here for the Mid-South area, hoping it stays that way, but we will continue to monitor for the possibility of anything happening. In the meantime, temperatures tomorrow in the 90s, heat index temperatures above 105 degrees. Got a pretty good gist of the rest of the forecast. That'll be changing into the weekend, so we see some temperatures a little bit below normal, which will be a nice little change, but we'll update you on that as we go throughout the next few days. International Space Station, very nice bright view over the Mid-South over the last about hour or so, and then at 1024 in about 45 minutes from the time that we're recording this, along the northwestern horizon, west-northwest, going between the Big Dipper and the northern horizon, right through the constellation of Camelopardalis, that's the giraffe in case you didn't know, and then the North Star, the International Space Station will be making a decently bright pass. It'll be rising in the west-northwest around 1024. It'll be going right along the northern horizon. It'll be decently bright, but it won't be like Venus or Jupiter bright, but you should be able to see it, again, if there's no clouds or anything else in the way, and it'll finally set 
between the W of Cassiopeia and the northeastern horizon. So that should be a good challenge uh, in there if you want to take a look at that. Again, clouds left over tonight, and of course all that haze out there is not going to be doing too much of a good job of getting us any clear skies, unfortunately. So for stargazing, that can be just a bit of a problem out there. Join me for more on my Twitter page. That's twitter.com slash aonic underscore wreg3. Would love to have you along for the ride. If you'd like to come along and follow me on Twitter, we'd love to have your comments and everything else. Do a lot about Mid-South weather, science, astronomy, geekery, computers, reading, literacy for kids, environmental stuff, all that things going on in and around the area here. So again, more details on your complete forecast uh, available there. Maria DeMarco Stafford, when will I next be at the Pink Palace? Uh, glad you enjoyed the demonstrations and the teachings. I will not be up in the galleries uh, anytime soon because of the fact that we are getting ready for our next big thing, which is the Family Science Night, which will be coming up this Friday evening. If you'd like more about that, uh, please go to memphismuseums.org. You can purchase tickets there and find out more information. It's going to be all about astronomy this time around, and with the eclipse coming up, you can find out a lot more about that. Matter of fact, they're on Twitter, too. I believe it's uh, at Memphis Museums if you want to follow them on Twitter, and we'll hopefully be posting a little bit more coming up over the next couple of days where it comes to things like uh, News Channel 3 on air and finding out more about that throughout the next few days as well. Uh, getting information about that, again, if you'd like to know more, memphismuseums.org. If you don't know what uh, Ms. Stafford's talking about, I work part-time as an instructor at the Memphis Pink Palace Museums. Don't talk about it a lot, but I'm there uh, from time to time helping with various presentations and things like that. So if you'd like to know more about what we do in general, uh, with the education department. A lot of great things going on. To check out again memphismuseums.org for tons of information. Almost time for back to school, so we've got to get a lot more uh, going on for the teachers and the administrators out there so they can know what's happening. So a lot of stuff going on, so please check out uh, more details about that. have to say a big congratulations to my wife, Melissa, who being in the entrepreneurial spirit, and thanks to her good friend uh, Bethany Chu as well, for helping her on this, for getting stuff ready to go. Melissa is now a uh, purveyor of the Dot Dot Smile clothing line on here, appearing for the first time on air with me for tonight on, on the netcast for this evening. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> so if you'd like to know more about this, I've got links available at various locations on my Twitter page and things like that. If you're looking for basic kids' clothing, basically, I think it is, and it's called Dot Dot Smile, and if you'd like to know more about this, uh, again, you can find her on Facebook at dot dot smile Melissa Onik, that last name. Again, you can hardly miss it at O-N-E-K, and you can find that out there. Angie Rose, welcome from Senatobia. Thanks for stopping on by tonight, and thanks to everybody else for joining us for this evening. Again, tons more information on the forecast available here. Social media, again, available here. Email address here. Social media and our website, most importantly, wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to keep up to date with more about what's going on in and around the Mid-South area. Coming up in the next couple of days, we'll be keeping a very close eye on the tropics as things continue to be a little bit on the interesting side where things could develop, may develop. We'll be keeping an eye on that over the next several days as well. We'll also have this heat wave, hopefully tempering that in the next few days. We'll have more details on that coming up a little bit later on. Don't forget to join me bright and early tomorrow morning on AM 730 Yahoo Sports Radio. We'll talk back live with Bob and Josh, sports chatter, and whatever else comes to mind. It's a great way to get your morning going in the Mid-South area. It's on AM 730, and you can go to TalkBackLiveNetwork.org, if I'm not mistaken, and listen in online for more information. Again, you can go to uh, my various social media pages and check in with Bob and Josh with more information Monday through Friday, 7 to 9 a.m. That'll wrap it up for our weather blog for tonight. This has been our special edition on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook. If I figure out how to get anything else added in here, I will definitely let you know. In the meantime, thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for more. Got questions on Facebook, drop them in, or Twitter. Either way, drop them into the comments section. We would love to know more. And, of course, we'll have more with Todd Demers bright and early on Daybreak. Jim Jaggers has more in just a few minutes on News Channel 3 at 10. It's just, just about quarter till the hour. And, of course, tons more on my Facebook and blah, 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 all these various social media pages right there. Live and direct from House Onik, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for a complete weather update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime on multiple video sources. Stay safe, stay cool out there, and keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more information.